Hi everyone and welcome back to Interview Chronicles Season 3. We are in the 22nd episode of this series and today we have Ajinkya here with us who has been recently placed at Flipkart as a part of his campus placements at VIT. So he is here to share his interview experience with us. So this is for the supply chain management role and before we talk to him let's look at the eligibility criteria. So all BTEC core branches only were eligible for this role and the further shortlisting based uh, happened based on the rounds that they had. So now let's go ahead and talk to Ajinkya and understand, get to know his experience interviewing for Flipkart. And congratulations on your placement. Oh, thank you so much. I'm glad uh, I'm here. That's great. Thank you. Uh, would you like to introduce yourself first? Uh, sure thing. Uh, so I'm Ajinkya Bagmar. Uh, right now I'm fourth year undergrad uh, studying EC in VIT Valor. Uh, I come from Maharashtra and uh, I've been in Bangalore for quite a number of years okay. and uh, I'm glad I could share you some tips uh, to the juniors of how they can crack a placement at Flipkart. Right, that's really great, thank you. Uh, you cannot tell us about the placement process, like how many rounds were there and what they comprised of? Sure, so uh, there, were, there was an initial shortlisting round, so it comprised of total four rounds if you include the initial shortlisting round. Okay. So after the initial shortlisting, uh, there was an aptitude round or uh, what we call a technical round, mm -hmm. where we had uh, three sections uh, which uh, constituted of basic uh, arithmetic and quants, mm -hmm. and then there was supply chain basics, and then there was uh, more, more about the computer size of things like MS Word and MS Excel. Okay. They were just checking how proficient you are uh, in all those skills. And supply chain questions were pretty uh, easy because I had a decent knowledge and a decent background of supply chain okay. and the manufacturing process. Hmm. So after the um, aptitude round or what we say the technical round, uh, there was a shortlisting in, in which around 70 to 80 people were shortlisted. And uh, in that, uh, the technical after that, the technical round happened. We were divided into slots hmm. and each uh, slot had a panel interviewer. And uh, so... The technical round was mostly checking your uh, knowledge about supply chain. They were uh, asking basic questions about supply chain management. Uh, they mostly were checking uh, how is your negotiation skills, uh, how, are, how is your confidence. Uh, the major part which played here was uh, how confident you are giving the answers. And uh, also they asked me some of my, of my projects. Uh, I actually did a hackathon. Uh, so that's what I would say to the juniors who are, who are watching this. Uh, if you have an hackathon project uh, which is basically dealing with the supply chain part of thing, mm. it would be really, really grateful uh, because uh, I did an hackathon project uh, which majorly gave me a slight advantage over the other candidates. Okay. After the uh, technical part, uh, uh, we were shortlisted for the HR round. Uh, the process was same. We were divided into panels, and each panel had some interviewers. So the HR round was basically testing your people management skills. How do you manage people? How do you manage situations? Okay. And it was mainly about situations. Uh, I was given a situation. Uh, it was a complicated situation wherein I had to compromise some of my, uh, some of, I had to compromise some of my values uh, in order to get the desired result. Hmm. It's not that uh, uh, you have to be hard and strict over some values. So you have to be uh, flexible enough to adjust to the situations accordingly so mm. the HR round was quite lengthy for me it okay. lasted about 45 to 50 minutes okay. and then uh, there was a final list of, of shortlisted students okay okay that's great congratulations again thank you um, so much yeah so do you have anything to share based on or any suggestions that you have that you learned from your experience that you would like to share yeah I would love to share some of my experiences so First thing is, uh, first thing I would like to say is that uh, if you're confident enough in your in your interview process, that plays a, that gives you a huge advantage over the candidates who are uh, preparing or who are giving the uh, giving the interview because uh, uh, being a fresher, people don't expect you to know much things. Right. It's just that how confident you are about right. the, about doing things, the way you think, mm -hmm. the way you ask things, and the way you apply them. Mm -hmm. That's that plays a major part in the placement process. They just mm. check your, they check your, they do check your knowledge, but they just check how do you put that knowledge so the people, the, the interviewer who is in front of you understands it. Okay. So, uh, and I would also like to share that. See, I'm a PC guy, and I've been preparing for core from past two or three years. So, mm. and uh, I've been into peer pressure of learning coding and all, but I just want to say that. If you if you believe in something, you should work hard on it. You should grind on it right. because uh, at the end, something incredible is going to happen to you. So 
with that process in mind, you just have to keep calm during the placement process and just trust in the process. That's what I would say. Sure. So I would also like to uh, thank Flipkart for providing a detailed, uh, you know, a uh, detailed uh, guideline of how the placement process will be because most of the placement, uh, most of the companies, they won't share the placement uh, deadlines and all. Right. So Flipkart was pretty, uh, you know, uh, sure about the placement deadlines and they followed it pretty well. That relieved a lot of tension from the candidates who are preparing mm. for it because they knew when would the results come and how right. they would prepare accordingly. So just taking this as a platform to thank Flipkart. Okay. Thank you so much for sharing your experience and for the suggestions. I'm sure it's going to help many people. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Thank you all for watching. Please do like, share and subscribe if you found this video helpful. And apart from that, stay tuned because a lot of interview experiences are coming your way in the next few days. And thank you. For